Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. This is Mambo Sierra, and I'm here to do a, um, a pink card reading for the week. See what we need to focus on, our challenges, and some guidance. Okay, but first, I wanted to thank all that I have purchased. The CDNO Head Spray. Um, may it bring many blessings to your life. May it help to clear up fogginess, stagnation, and and continuously uh, prevent those things from stopping the flow of positive energy your way. Also wanted to talk quickly about the pendulums that I have made with this cherry wood and this turquoise beading. Now there's only five of these that that's on the shop right now, so that's a, and that's all I have. That's all, you know, that's this will be the last of these. The only set of these, actually. So I will bless them and um, before they ship out, bless them. And all you have to do is program them to your specific liking, to your specific yes and no. And they also can be made into a bracelet so you can, you can, you know, have have pendulum will travel, you know, kind of thing. They got a hook right here and you just hook it onto here and then it'll be a bracelet. So it's always accessible for you. And it's, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of... Um, um, work of art, beautiful piece of jewelry that I've created. I mean, it's just, I'm very proud of it. So you can go to my Etsy shop and pick it up. I'll leave a link in the description box below and we'll get into these readings. All right. So here are pick a cards for the week. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three and what we will be focusing on on each pile for each there's a card for each what we're going to focus on for the week the challenges for the week and the advice for the week okay so we're going to get started here with pile number one all right pile two pile one excuse me i guess i'm i guess i'm supposed to pick pile two <laughs> all right so what are we going to focus on this week wisdom we are going to focus on wisdom and in that wisdom, I'm going to flip the camera, sorry. In that wisdom, we're going to focus on the light, finding the betterment of life, the way that he's looking at those people and the way that they're looking at him and what he's holding is, is knowledge of how he may have overcome his own personal hardships. So you have to look at yourself at um, maybe you are in a position where you're feeling like you're not at where you want to be in life, but use the the wisdom of your growth that you may have been in these people's position once before, but now you're here. You're a little bit more enlightened. Um, you're growing, and you're not in a in a dark place as you was anymore, you know? So you being wise about our thoughts and wise about where we are in life will help you to continue to grow and focus on that wisdom this week of your own personal growth and that you're not where you used to be anymore, okay? So let's see what the challenge may be. The challenge may be having a, a tough conversation with yourself or with other people around you who may see you, see you growing and, and see you not in a, in a position of where they were before. And maybe you want to keep yourself in that lower vibration for other people, but you can't anymore. And it may be time to have a difficult conversation that you may not want to because you may not want to lose the friends, the loved ones that you have grown to know all of this time, you know, you don't, you don't want to lose them because your growth, but you can't also, you can't stop your growth. You have to be wise about the words that you use when having these conversations. So the conversation may be challenging for you this week. So let's see what the advice is. Stay dedicated. It's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. Using your wisdom to grow and continue on the path that you on, but also knowing that hard work and perseverance will get you through it using the, the endurance, you know, to stay focused, to stay strong, to stay on the path 
that spirit is leading you on. Maybe you're you're trying to run a business. You know, maybe you're trying to get ahead in life that way. And some people don't want to see that. Some people don't want to see you move up on the ladder. You know, they want to continue to keep you struggle, keep you in a struggling situation. But you can't let that mindset get you down. Okay? I hope that this helps, pal number one. Um, have a blessed week. Please check out my Etsy shop for some goodies. I will leave the link in the description. Be blessed. I love you. All right, my pile number two people. Let's see what you need to focus on this week. Accelerated motion. Maybe you've been in a feeling of stagnation. You know, like nothing's going right. You're still in the same place. You don't feel any sort of movement that you can see that's tangible, you know, but spirit maybe in the background moving things and you just can't see it right now. How's she looking at that student star? Like, dang, I wish, I wish things would accelerate. I wish things would move forward into the place that I want to be. But, but spirit is already there. Spirit is already moving it, you know, and it's a, it's a thing of trusting them to get you to that motion, to get you to that movement. So you got to focus on continuing to move, you know, and not staying still. Even if it's doing one little thing at a time a day, working towards your goal, you know, but don't overwhelm yourself with, with a list full of things that you have to get done in one day. Cause that's not how it's going to accomplish or, or you're not going to achieve it in one day. So you have to maybe make small steps so that you can accelerate the um, the motion. All right, let's see what your challenges are. Maybe there's a male in your life who who is keeping you stagnant. Maybe he is he is maybe y'all in a karmic relationship. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a boss. Maybe maybe it's a um, a brother. Maybe it's a family member, somebody who you are close to um, that may be making you feel stuck. And I would advise to check your energy and how you are around them. You know, how do you feel? How, what is your gut telling you? You have to begin to put these things in motion so that you can begin to weed out what's slowing you down. And what's hindering your growth. And this male that is in your life may be, may be somebody who, who doesn't even know they are stopping you. But they may do it subconsciously. You know? Let's see the advice. Visualize your highest self and start showing up as the person. That's, that's great. That is icing on the cake right there. I mean, if you want the if you want the growth, if you want the movement, see yourself as this person. You know, what does this person look like? What do you look like 5 years from now and step into them shoes? How do you how do you see yourself when you look in the mirror? If you don't if it's something that you don't like yourself in the mirror, then use your imagination, visualize what you think a strong and powerful person would be that you want to be and then fulfill those shoes step in them and walk strong in them okay pile number two thank you for your time thank you for listening taking the time out check out my etsy shop to get some goodies i really appreciate you i love you good day all right pile number two Let's uh, see what we got to focus on this week. Passion ignited. Oh, wow. So it looks like you are needing to focus on where your passion lies. Where, where, what sparks that flame within you to, to just put you in a movement to, to really work and really create? What is that? Well, you're going to have to focus that and and really um, move towards this happiness and fulfillment, knowing that 
that you're doing your work. You're doing what you love and you're passionate about it. Look at her face. She's elated. She is elated. And, and there's the number one. So it may bring in new beginnings. Once you begin to ignite that passion and spark that flame, it might set you on a path to a new, a completely new chapter in your life. Which you may want, you know. If I go back to pile number two, um, there was a, um, people with stagnation um, and pile number one was about moving forward. So we putting all this together. We need to, to accelerate the, no wait, pile number two was accelerated, the motion. And one was about using the wisdom to move forward. So we're going to be wise, ignite our passion and, and let that that flame accelerate the motion in our lives so that we can move forward. All right, let's see what um what your your challenges may be. Travel. Well, I think the travel is a challenge for everybody right now with uh you know with the Rona running running rampant. But it may be that you want to travel and that may be a passion of yours. But right now it's kind of, it may be difficult traveling at this time in life, you know, or maybe you travel a lot and you you don't have time to just sit down and breathe and, and have enough time to find your passion. So you got to, you got to learn to balance the two and schedule out your, your life, your work life, your social life and your hobby life and which one you want to give energy to, you know, you, it, it, your energy can't go all into one thing. It has to be, you know, divvied up properly so that you can feel that, that, that love for something that you do. Right. Let's see what your advice is. Time for a spiritual move. Maybe, maybe the place that you live isn't what is is what's holding you back. Or maybe your spirituality, maybe you're doing some things that you um, that you thought you liked. And now it's time to to really listen to spirit and move in the direction that they are showing you. Definitely um, finding a balance in your spiritual self and your work life, I think, will help to ignite the flames and the passion that you may be lacking in your spiritual work. You know, maybe it's time for a refresher course on how to, to, to do things, how to get some workings done. Maybe it's time for a spiritual mentor to come in and help you to ignite this passion. Well, I hope that this is helpful, Pile number three. I love you. Check out my Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the description box. And I hope y'all have a fantastic week.